Hey guys, so this is my Accutane journey week two. Uh, it's been a little bit over two weeks. Eh, like a couple days over two weeks. So I was just going to go over my skin routine, how my skin's doing, everything like that. So after I filmed my last video, my skin just like went crazy, like dry. And nothing changed, I don't think. Like it stays the same. It stayed the same dosage and everything. Like I haven't even done 30 days yet. And it's like super dry. So I've been really struggling with that, especially, especially with putting on makeup. Like I don't know how to make it work. I don't. Because it's flaky. It's not just dry. It's flaky. So since I just washed my face, I'm going to go through my skin morning skincare routine with you. Because um, I'm really dry because I just washed my face. So the products that have been working for me that I've showed you that I was going to start using has been this Cetaphil Foaming Facial Cleanser or whatever. Face wash. That's fine. It's just super gentle and foamy, so that's nice because I feel like it's getting clean. And then, um, out of all of the lip um, treatments or chapsticks or whatever, um, I really liked the Dr. Dan's, of course, and the Aquaphor. The Aquaphor is the one that I'll take everywhere with me, but only because I only have samples of this one right now. So I just like to leave it at home so it doesn't get all messy or squirt out or something, so I'll just leave it at the same, in the same spot, but I'm getting actual sticks of that I ordered off of Amazon on, like, Friday or something. It should be here, so I just use the Aqua 4 for everything, and I, like, massage it in there, too. I don't just, like, put it on, but I, like, do little mini circles. I'm lucky because I knew my lips would be bad because they're already so dry without this drug so I was on top of it like right away I like always had this on me so they haven't been I mean they are bad but I haven't been like dying yet because of it alright I'm gonna put on my stuff now so um, I'm gonna start with this daily moisturizer with sunscreen by Neutrogena this is just one of the samples the doctor gave me and they didn't give me a whole lot of like actual like daytime moisturizers or any moisturizers really and so what they gave me like three sunscreens yeah I waited too long to do this but um so this is what I've been using until I can find a good daytime moisturizer because so far I can't find one So, that's it. Uh, I should have done this. I should have had this all ready after I washed my face, though, because now um, the dryness started to come out, but that's okay. And then, I should have used this one. This it CC Plus cream or whatever, and yeah, still not a fan, especially with the dry patches. Maybe if I don't have the dry patches, it would work, but I just clings to those. I don't think it makes my makeup sit well. So I put that on. I'm kind of letting that do its magic. And then I also put a sunscreen on over it. Oh, I'll show you what this is in a sec. So this is the sunscreen that I use every day, like before this. I've used it for years. I learned about it in school, this brand. And then this probably isn't the best sunscreen to use because I'm on Accutane, but it's a sunscreen I use that I know is really good. So it's Ultralux Face and Body SPF 30. Microvenom Anti-Aging by Ultralux. Ultralux is my favorite. Um, but I don't have a whole lot of products that I don't that I think would work with Accutane that are gentle enough. So that's okay though. Because they're expensive anyway. But yeah, so also, um, back to the lip creams, I had this Episerum that I showed you guys last time too, and this one's not my favorite. I'll use it, you know, but I'd rather use the Aquaphor or the Dr. Dan's 
Corda Bomb. So that's what I've been doing. And then I also use like this baby sunscreen. I'm not like the biggest fan. Um, I still haven't used the CeraVe one, but maybe I'll do that soon. Yeah, and I just used this CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I think it's similar to the Cetaphil one, but I still like the Cetaphil one because it comes out foaming. So I just feel like it starts working faster and deeper. So at night, what I do is I wash my face. So I remove my makeup with this Halo makeup remover wipe sponge thing. And then I um, wash my face with the Cetaphil. Super gentle. And it's been really hard lately not to exfoliate with all the dry flakiness I've been receiving. I don't know if you can see that in my nose and on my chin right here. So you can be breakout because of it, I think. Those are new guys. But I figured that I would definitely be breaking out before anything's getting better. So it got better and now I'm breaking out. So, but that's okay. It's like, hasn't even been a month. That's what I've been expecting. And then, so night, yeah. So I'll use this to wash. And then sometimes I'll exfoliate with my microfoliant from Dermalogica. But that's, I don't recommend doing that. I still have to ask, I think it just told me not to exfoliate, but now I like don't know if that's just from something I watched or from my doctor. So I'll have to ask her when I see her, but yeah, I'm trying not to because it does make my face super sensitive after, but yeah. And then I use, um, and this is probably, this is bad, but I know it helps with, um, redness and, um, soreness, irritation is the emu oil. And then I will use Mario Badesco Chamomile Night Cream, which I do really, really like. It's like super rich and creamy. But yeah, and so now I would start doing my makeup and everything now that everything's soaked in. What I really want to get is one of those... Um, like mist beauty waters or toners. I have a toner, but it doesn't like mist. So if I forget to put it on or something before or something, then, then you know, I can't use it. <laughs> yeah. So, so my skin's been really dry. It's been really hard. It like makes my makeup gather up throughout the day and it just looks bad, makes everything look bad, but it's hard because I still have breakouts I need to cover up and I can't just put makeup my chin, I mean, I guess I could conceal it, but it's not the same. I think I'm going to put a little bit more moisturizer on. But, um, so these breakouts are all new, so I have, like, a little baby here and here and here, a little cluster. And this guy has been trying to heal, but, um, he slowly is. But everything is like pretty normal. This is new. I don't usually get breakouts up here or zits up here, but it's not a bad one. And so like breakout wise, I wouldn't say it's anything crazy, abnormal or out of the normal. <laughs> um, or normal, but it's just staying the same, I guess. But the dryness is killing me. Oh, but I am grateful that I was able to con control my lips before they got too bad because I know if I didn't have the right lip balm right now then they would be a lot worse for sure because I'll forget this at home and then I'll have to use like my boyfriend's like Vaseline or something and it is not the same so so yeah um that is my skin it's okay right now maybe I'll do a video of it tonight after I, after I wash it or once I get home after having makeup on all day but yeah, talk to you later. Yeah.